There is an injustice in our community, which is the discrimination against the disabled, which is also known as ableism, which means discrimination against people based on the physical ability of their body, especially against people with disabilities. One of the catalysts for change was Evelyn Kennedy of Bridgeport, Connecticut. In 1947, Evelyn and her husband John took their young son Brian to a pediatric specialist in New Haven. There, I got words that will forever ring in my ears. Mr. and Mrs. Kennedy, you have a mentally retarded child. And He was born retarded and he'll die retarded. There's no miracle cure, there's no miracle anything. Make plans, you know, for his future and their advice to us then was words that are imprinted up there. Put them away and forget you ever had them. I remember John and I looked to one another, put them away if we ever had them, oh God, no. And without saying a word between us, we knew that Brian was to be with us for the rest of his life. At a time Whether she really, I just stood up when the time came and said, I am the mother of a mentally retarded child. It was a dead silence. People looked at me in the head, so I had two heads. But uh, when I stopped talking and I told them, all we want to do is keep him home. Keep him home and love him. Help us. Will you give us what we need to do this? Evelyn's emotional plea reached beyond her neighbors to local schools and businesses who offered meeting rooms and assistance. But the most valuable contribution came from other parents like the Kennedys who met for the first time to discuss the issues facing their families. One snowy February night, 1951, remarkable thing was this. We were together, five minutes, complete strangers, and we had a bond between us that nothing in this whole world was going to break. We were going to get for our kids what was their natural birthright. In Bridgeport, the living room meetings led to the development of a small educational resource center, which gave these children their first social experiences. They had company. They had company. They had somebody that, that could play with them. They had other parents that would take over for me. If I wanted to go downtown to get my hair done or something. Through continuous work, this community organization has tried to fight against people with disabilities being subject to economic and social inequalities. This is important because if 70% of the working age people with disabilities are unemployed, this program will be able to help adults with disabilities get jobs and live on their own. This is important because kids and adults with disabilities tend to feel left out and different, but the Kennedy Center has programs to make sure that people with disabilities don't feel different and can achieve their goals just like everyone else.